everyone, welcome back to another video. Before we start, go ahead and hit that subscribe button so you can keep up with all these videos and come back to them easily. Uh, we're gonna be solving this short question here, uh, finding the internal rate of return for a project that has perpetual payments. In this question, you've been told that the payment is $6,000 every two years and that the project will cost you $50,000 upfront. So we know that the net present value is found by taking the present value of your inflows minus the present value of your outflows and we've also learned in TVM that the present value of a perpetuity is the payment, in this case 6,000, divided by K, and the outflow in this case is 50,000. So to find the internal rate of return, all you need to do is set K as the unknown, that's what we're gonna be solving for, and set your net present value to zero, because we know that that's the relationship between IRR and the NPV. If IRR equals K, or if your discount rate is the internal rate of return, then your NPV would be zero. Now we're going to algebraically solve for this, and you get 12%. Now this isn't the answer. Because this is a two-year perpetual payment, this is an effective two-year rate. But an internal rate of return should be expressed annually. So now we want to convert this to an effective annual rate. So one plus 12%, that's our two-year rate, we're going to put that to the power 0 0.5 over 1 minus 1. 0 0.5 because we have a two-year rate, so it has a frequency of half over 1 because we want to have a frequency of 1. The formula I'm using is 1 plus the effective rate to the power old frequency divided by new frequency. The frequency we have, so 0 0.5 because it's a two-year rate over the frequency we want just one. If you punch this into your calculators, you're going to get about 5.83%. So this is your effective annual rate and your internal rate of return. I hope that video helped. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments, and I will see you at the next video. Good luck at your exams.